Uh, good morning one and all from Tyree Airport. We are going to be heading back uh, into Glasgow on our makeshift B line, uh, British European Airlines Skyliner from the Hebrides out here going back to Glasgow on VATSIM network as well. There is in fact a control tower, um, tower controller, sorry, who's online. So if we can grab a few virtual air services on our way, then uh, jobs are good and all good practice. Uh, we are going IFR today, even though it does look like a very nice VFR day. Um, but this would be the first time taking the, the B-Line call sign out onto the network. I've been flying it on VFR just using the, the registration, um, but we're going to go using B-Line instead. So we're cold and dark. Uh, we haven't loaded up any fuel or uh, any passengers yet. Um, just doing a bit of a walk around, checking things out. It's the fine details. It's it's really really nice, very well modelled, and the closer you get, you don't lose any quality. It's superb. This is ground standby. Whilst they're doing that, I'm going to set up our flight plan. So we are E, G, P, U, Tyree. Then up to Bruce. And then it's just Echo. Golf Papa Foxtrot because that oops Echo Golf Papa Foxtrot. And then we can do a procedure of select and arrival. Stunning by for pushback. There we go. We're on the Bruce One Golf. Procedure, ILS5, vectors, load, done. Now I imagine, always ready, ready for pushback, so let's push back. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We are cleared for start and push. Okay, cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. Parking brake is released. Parking brakes are released. Commencing pushback. You can start the engines in sequence. Yeah, we're going to start to the starboard engine. Yeah, we'll first. start in the sequence. So now it's a case of putting it into. Run. Start starboard. Central RPM going up. Fuel flow. Fuel regulator button. So temperature, well, the temperature is 12 degrees. Okay, pushback completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking well, brakes. You may disconnect. Okay, sir, clear to disconnect. And start the port engine. Once the fuel level gets to about 10, then we push the fuel regulator. Central RPM. Keep an eye on the exhaust gas temperature as well. Fuel's got to 10. Port fuel regulator. Watch EGT. And 
camera stabilised. Normal start. Flight mode. So it's set flaps. First stage flap. Control check. Pull up. Okay, sorry, pull down. Pull up. Left and right. Do the rudders in a second once I get the correct radio frequency tuned in. One, two, three, decimal eight. So we're going to be taking off the runway. Now, the runway options we have. Let's check the Metar. It's 320. So we're going to use runway 23 because that's the longer of the runway. So it's like crosswind. There is a runway 29, it's very short. Um, and you know what? Let's do it. Let's do runway 29 for a bit of a laugh. Get the weather radar on. Just going to check the VAT map to make sure there's no controller on. So we're going to tax up alpha here and then backtrack along runway 11, turn around at the end, 2 9, take off. Sounds like a plan. I forgot the beacon. Oops. Not doing a good job today. We're in taxi, got the flaps. Everybody ready? Here we go. Brakes release. This is when I have to make sure I'm in beta mode to help with the braking because uh, this thing will taxi really quickly. So, beta mode now. I've just got to click on my throttle quadrant. If I go forward, it brings the lever backwards. You have too much of it, and the plane comes to stop. There we are. Now it's back in. Beautiful bit of freeway scenery by Scott Flight, I think. That's his name. We'll do a brake check. There we go. And we'll make a call on the radio as well. Tyree traffic, a B line 8733 is lining up, backtracking with 29. Tyree. There we go. We'll put our landing lights on. So we're entering an active, well, we're making an active runway. To beta range, that's the notification, and take it, take it out before it gets too slow. Bit of braking. Good turning circle as well. Okay, holding on the brakes. Clicked myself out of beta. Double check about the last video. That didn't work very well for me. Maximum prop. Checklist. Done that. Taxi, park brakes off, yes. Line up trims. No, there is no there is no elevator trim position. 
there should be something here if there's not. So I'm hoping an update will bring that uh, into the flight deck. So trims, take off, we don't know fuels, checked, so we've got plenty. Flaps as required. Flight instruments. Yeah, we're all facing the right way. Checked. Ammeters below 100, well and truly below 100. Transporter mode, transponder mode. Now let's, there we go. <coughs> Take off, that lights are on, anti ice not required. Peter Heats, put them on. Take off, we'll just announce it. And so a minimum takeoff is 65 with that red marker, maximum takeoff. Or 90 knots, depending on the weight. We're going to end up, we're going to head for the 90 knots because we're quite heavy. So there. Tyree traffic, a B line 8733, departing, taking off runway 29 with uh, east departure. Right, set to go. the torque pressure as it slowly catches up. There's 90. Not the best takeoff. Five thousand feet. It's going to make that turn now. Let's see what heading into one one seven. Set it to one one seven. Oh, a few updrafts there. to go. So just start bringing that trim down. Ooh, not that much. About a thousand feet a minute. Again, another beautiful day. Slowing it down. Let's put the automatic engage mode on. And push the up button. No, there we are, 5,000. We're going to bring our RPM now to 90% uh, RPM. So look on here. Bringing it down to 90. Outside air temperature is 24 degrees. So, 2, sorry, 4, is it 4? 2, 4, 6, 6 degrees, correction. 570, we're doing well there. Gonna bring that torque back because we are well and truly at the limits there. It's around about 55.3. So, we'll have a look here. We're at 5,000 feet. It's 6 degrees, 59.7. So we can give it a bit more there. there Lots of fine tuning, bring that RPM back a bit more. There we are. 
90%. Each T is within limits. And I'm not paying attention. Let's do track. Should pick it up. There we go. Information November. Time 0920 Zulu. Automatic. Runway in use 05. Transition level flight level 70. Surface wind 290 degrees 4 knots. Varying between 210 and 340 degrees. Visibility 10 kilometers. Or more no cloud detected. Temperature plus 17. Dew point plus 6. QNH 1029. Threshold QFE 1028. Acknowledge receipt of information November. And advise aircraft type on first contact. Right. That's got information there. Information November. Yeah, no, it's just fine. You just don't even see, you know, you're the only one good in that airport and they complete area is clear around you just see more there's no traffic. There's an aircraft there. Got a big common old traffic on a fort. Landing for ancient beats, which is on. So we'll, okay, when we're landing, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Let's get some more on a base leg here. Continue descent up to 2400.
keep it landing lights on there. Very scenic route down here, close to the hills. Let's bring that nose up. Level off, 100 feet to go. Glasgow traffic, B-line 8733, we're on a 10 mile uh, final for runway 05. Although well, we're not on final yet, we're going to be very shortly. We can start turning that round to intercept it. Sure to tow it. Right way up. Right, all to off. Because if it's all pilot's not doing what you want to do, then do it yourself. Glasgow Tower, good morning, B-Line 8733, we're about 7 mile final, Bromley 05. Station call, signal sign. Uh, B-Line 8733. B-Line 8733, Glasgow Tower, good morning. Winds are variable at 3 knots from the 05, clear to land. Clear to land, Bromley 05, B-Line 8733. We can <laughs> handle these bumps. This is bonkers. <coughs> uh, you'd be sick as a dog in the back with this. Ugh. Right. Uh, it's settling a bit there. Change the power opening and then incredible difference in the speed. Look at that speed just bleeding off really quickly there. It's just got to make sure we don't lose too much too fast. Trimming up. This variable winds does not help. So I maintain that stable approach. We we'll get our first stage of flaps in. Frame rate taking a bit of a plummet. Slightly low. Just about make the pappy there. We've got one white and three reds. So it's reducing that rate of descent. Let it catch up. There it is. Take the next stage of flap. Stutters, hangs on something, it's been loading on that scenery. I thought some update was supposed to fix that, but mm, doesn't seem to have done a good job of it. Okay, add a bit more power.
that we can have a really long landing here, or a short one and, and really plunk on the brakes. Uh, B line 873, are we able to vacate on Delta? B line 873, yep, you can vacate on Delta. Thank you, vacate Delta, B line 873. And B line 8733, do you have a particular stand of choice or are you free to take any? Oh, I'll go for uh, stand 63 if that's possible, B line 8733. B line 8733, yep. 63 is available, so you can taxi stand 63 via Golf and Kilo. Taxi 63 via Golf and Kilo, thanks so much, B78733. Words. Taxi 63 via Golf and Kilo, Stand 6383. Right to some kilo. Put a props and taxi. Would help. Stand 6-3 towards the bottom end of the year. That's 6-5. Turn the tax light off before we blame the ground crew. 6-4. Turn them off now as well. Gonna cheat a bit. Flaps up. I did, good. Down standby for now. And the props resting for that. So when you turn the fuel booster pumps off, the engines turn off. So unless that's what you're meant to do. I'm not sure, but that's what it says. So we're going to have a go at that. So it's going to be booster pumps off. Engine master switches to stop. Then it says to make it into full reverse.
inverters off. Before we do that though, we shall turn the beacon off, see about signs, cargo ramp, no other smoking, so inverters off, generators off. on electrical master off main battery main battery and there we have it still waiting on some Libby creators to get that uh, the Beeline logo and the BEA SIG signs in there and the Scottish sign in there but uh, you know, we're good to go now. We've had a few practice runs and uh, hopefully a bit of inspiration for a route to take uh, the little sky van. We want to do some classic turboprop ops, uh, ops around the Hebrides. This was used to replace the uh, Heron uh, on the Glasgow Tyree Barra rotation. And it's a quick flight, it was only about about half an hour, 30 minutes, 40 minutes or so. So it's um, worthwhile for those quick trips. Thank you again for joining along and uh, we'll see you in the next one.